Welcome to Rock Talks. Today we are talking to Sean Z, singer of Doth, Sinsanum, Velocitor, and Vented. We discuss the real status of Doth and the band's plans for this year, including their first recording in more than a decade. If you like this interview, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video with all your friends. Also, very important, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. By the way, if you see a little advertisement at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end of the video, please do not skip it. By doing that, you're helping me a lot. Come on, guys, it's just a few seconds of your life, and it will really make a difference for me. I'm counting on all of you. Enjoy the interview. All right, so what's going on in the world of Sinsanum? I, I think you already said that the band will go on and yeah. without Joey, of course. And yeah. Have you ever thought about uh, who will be his uh, replacement on drums? Uh, yeah, so we have already written. Um, I think the last time we spoke, we had <laughs> kind of had mentioned that. A lot of it was actually already written. Um, so... Uh, we still need to work on lyrics and we need to, you know, kind of piece the rest of the songs together. So you're kind of, we're kind of still on that halfway point of having like a tangible product and, you know, taking it to be mixed um, and then still needing to write a little bit and kind of put the polishing touches on stuff. Uh, we do have a drummer. I can't really say who I'm not really allowed, unfortunately, but it is Austin, someone that we man. know. <laughs> no, yeah. Austin, bro. I can't be in three bands with Austin. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, it would be great to have Austin in some time, yeah. but um, it's, and now it's unfortunately not, not Austin. No. Um, but the guy we got's great, so I don't want to talk bad or say anything because um, the person, he, he knows the band and the friend and um, it'll, it'll just be a perfect uh, combination from what it sounds like. So once like everyone a, comes... Like a long time friend uh, for you? Uh, no, I think of Fred. I think he's really, he's known Fred for a long time. So, uh, right. but we, I, I know him though too. Yeah. I mean, we became friends, uh, through, you know, through mutual, mutual people, but, uh, does he play in another band? Famous band? Um, sort of. Yeah. Not like a super famous band, but yeah, he does play in some bands. Yeah. So, and he is a drummer. Lars, so that's so. important. <laughs> not well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I mean, it, 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 it's it's more about just finding someone who will vibe. It, you know, it, I mean, you, you're never going to replace Joey. So yeah. looking for the next superstar isn't necessarily the answer, I think, sometimes. Um, but this guy, you know, I, he definitely can, can do the job. So I think yeah. I think it would be really cool. All right. So no new no release date for this uh, Sinsanum album so far? No, no release date. Um, you know, Fred's in creator right now, so he's busy just doing a lot of that. I think they just dropped an album. I'm sure they'll tour. So, you know, it'll be, I think next, we talked about like next summer, maybe getting together and me flying over to France and just like kind of staying there, maybe doing some vocals and, you know, finalizing parts and stuff. So I think maybe that will next be Next really July? Good. Uh, it'd be next August? year, yeah, like in a year. Oh, next year. He, yeah, he's got to finish his touring cycle and whatnot, and uh, that's just kind of what we were just like roughly speaking. That I would, I would fly there next summer, maybe, and or maybe April or May or March, you know, sometime next year, early in the year, middle of the year, um, and I would go over and we'd finish, you know, lyrics and we'd finish mm -hmm. uh, vocals and kind of put the finishing touches on stuff, you know, to kind of make the mood. So you never know, man. In this business. Uh, you just kind of go with, with what comes at you. You know, you take what comes because, and I can't sit around and wait, but I am readily available whenever the time comes, you know, because mm -hmm. I also have the DA thing going on. So hey, you know, that's the other. We'll get into that yeah. in a few minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Enjoy. I'll, I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait. Yeah, I'll wait. <laughs> so no tour for Sin Sainum for this year, at least. No, of course not. No. Yeah, we, we would need to finish the album first, I think, and release it. And then then I think the tour would come after that, you know. Mm. But Joey actually recorded drums for this one, right? No, um, he oh, no. started to piece together like what would be what. And I mean, it was, I mean, it, we were messaging him like July 14th about the drumming uh, and, you know, sending him, we started sending him songs literally right then. Uh, I think the last time I spoke to Joey was like the 20th because um, I, we I was talking about some vented stuff and how I needed to hire him for 
an engineer gig. And, you know, he was like, I want to do the Sin St. Sin stuff first. I'm like, obviously. So Benton took, went to the back burner. Um, and then it was only, you know, just a few days later he died. So unfortunately he didn't have a chance to do anything, but um, he did get to hear some of them. So that kind of feels good. Um, he liked what he heard. And, you know, he, it's so cliche to say, but he definitely is one of those guys that would have been like, you know, you guys should continue on. Like, you know, he's, he's very, you know, he eat, bled, shit, slept metal, you know? So if anybody understood, it was him. Mm -hmm. I'm sure the next album will be dedicated to him. Of course. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's, yeah, it goes without saying, I mean, he was, he touched us all, man, especially me, you know, he, him and I got really close those last few months before he passed. So. It was sad. All right, all right. So, time time to talk about Doth. Yeah, okay. Now, <laughs> since my interview with you and then um, Jeremy Creamer, you know, he, he also said that, yeah, we are talking about, we're in the talks, thinking about uh, getting Doth uh, together. We are thinking about that, but it's been like a year or mm -hmm. close to a year. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. since then so right now is it safe to say that Duff is officially back uh well yeah um uh, but not in the current state that you would remember them some members have um kind of faded unfortunately because everyone is busy doing their own things um but al had already started doing some writing and we started piecing stuff together i guess him and kevin were working um and i don't i don't really know what transpired of that but we do have a drummer who is insane i, I don't know if i can say who it is can i say who it is i don't think i can say who it is austin Dion. Um, <laughs> no it is also not austin Dion. <laughs> it is not but dude we got we got some crazy guests on this record man i mean i can't even begin to tell you god i wish i could soon though you'll know but the the idea was Because um, AL is is Doth. That's that's the Doth sound that you know. Right. Um, yeah, Amo may have written a couple of riffs um, and did solos, but AL is the sound of Doth. Like he started talking to me a few months ago. He started sending me some stuff, and I'm like, dude, this is like, this sounds like Day of Endless Light again. Like, but like better and faster, and not the same riff, but it's like the the reverse version of the same. Riff. Like, dude, I'm. It just has a really, really good concealers kind of vibe. Hmm. Um, and we have this guy doing orchestration on it. Um, he's a big, like, uh, movie guy in Hollywood. He does some, I, don't, I can't even really say what he does, but yeah, he does, like, orchestration out there. So he's just been so excited and laying these amazing orchestral stuff on some of these songs. It's like, holy shit, man. This is, <laughs> this is like, this is next level um and you know uh and he all has a lot of friends in high places now and you know uh, he knows what to do and where to go so you know it's like for me it's it's very special because i feel like you know i'm actually getting to do that thing that i've always wanted to do and just like go to the best people you know and it seems like that that'll be how it'll be so uh, we've already got vocals booked um uh, we're supposed to go do vocals in the end of july so um in florida <laughs> nice. and it's not with you cough but i also can't say who it is <laughs> come on man give me something <laughs> uh shit uh he's worked on a lot of a day to remember records so i can tell you that and i won't, I won't go any further than that but All yeah right. i'll do i'll be doing vocals down there with him for a couple days and um then i think we'll go and we'll actually have it mixed we'll have it mixed by jens bogren Uh, at Fascination Street. So we'll actually, I think our trip to Sweden is uh, sometime in September. So we'll go out that way and nice. uh, we'll do some mixing out there. Yeah, it'll be awesome. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to it. I really oh. am. So things are definitely rolling. I think we have three songs we're going to shoot for for the first release. Um, and we oh. have more in the back pocket. Um, you know, we'll be out in September mixing. So I would assume hopefully by the end of this year, If not, it would be like right at the beginning of the year of next year. So it, it's coming soon, but it just depends on how quickly we can get this together. We already have the drums uh, set to be recorded in July. My vocals are at the end of July, and then we go for like mastering and mixing in September. So I would assume pretty, pretty soon, you know, sooner than later. 
So maybe the the first single by October, November. That's what that's what I was hoping, but you never know how shit goes. You know, it could be like yeah. well, now it's January. You know, but I would say tentatively in October, November seems like a good release to at least drop one. Uh, but again, no promises. You know, you never know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. another COVID might hit the world. And... No, no, I don't mean no. I mean more like uh, just schedules and mixing schedules and release timings. I mean, sometimes it's just not a good time to release stuff. So it really depends on what the market looks like as far as who's releasing that week. And, there's, you know, there's so yeah, many yeah. things to look at in that metric. You know, like, oh, well, Slipknot Tools, you know, like, Meshuggah, right. and all the top bands that you like are releasing a track that week. Like, well, we probably don't want to release that week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, no, I mean, that's just how it goes, yeah. Who who will be in this new new version of, of, of that? Sean Z on vocals? Uh, AOL? Correct. AMO? Yeah, AOL. Um, you know, unfortunately, AMO is... Um, He's been very busy, so I don't, I can't say yes or no definitively he will be on it. So it's one of those, like, if he is, that's amazing. Um, if he can't be on it, uh, we have some amazing guests uh, who can, you know, definitely cover the, the tracks. And it's not like, you know, this is the end of, this is the final, you know, it's, this is just, we're just doing an EP to kind of get some stuff out. You know, bands do it all the time. Uh, they bring in new guitar players, you know, but uh, as long as you have the core sound, Uh, the drums sound similar and you have the same vocals. You always mm -hmm. typically, you won't even really notice, I don't think. Um, but obviously, I, I'm, you know, I, I wish Amel could, could definitely be there, but it's just, you can't, you can't, you know, predict people's schedules. And All right. um, he's yeah. busy with Forlorner and it's been really tough. And, you know, it's like if we wait longer, then, oh, well, we'll push it back another year and then we'll push it back another year. So we're just going to try to drop an EP. Um, and whoever's on it is on it, but I definitely know I will be on it, and I definitely know AO will be on it. So, and what about Kevin Talley? Um, Kevin, well, I don't think Kevin will be on it. <laughs> I can definitely guarantee you that. I don't think Kevin will be on it. Um, because we've already we already have a drummer who is currently playing, and the drummer who's playing is like one of the top drummers in metal right now. So, tell me the name, please. This is your chance. Come on, man. Uh, I wish I'd probably get yelled at if I did. I don't know that we. I don't know that we're like making the announcement of like who the final members are, and I don't know how he wants to hold that back. Or you got to have something in your back pocket. So, so he's that. If, uh, <laughs> as soon as I find out and I'm allowed to tell you, I'll make sure I tell you first. <laughs> all right. I can tell you off the record for sure, but I can't tell you on the record. All right, all right, all right. that's okay. If, yeah. Fair enough. So what about Jeremy Creamer? Basically. Um, I hit him up recently and I'm just, just kind of waiting to hear back. I mean, you know, he's been really busy too. It's, it's like I'm saying, it's, it's kind of why Duff went the way that it did. It's just because everyone's so busy doing their thing. He's doing, he's like tour managing some shit now where, you know, he's booking arena gigs and, hmm. you know, he's running around and, you know. Yeah, he works for Life Nation, I think. Yeah, something crazy. Yeah, so it's like, You know, I, I would obviously love for him to also be on it, but I, I just can't predict people's schedules. So if it comes to the time when we're at the, the deadline and these people haven't come through, then obviously there's nothing we can do. Uh, yeah. We've definitely had Zoom calls with everybody um, through text, through emails. You know, everybody was on board. Um, now it's just a question of uh, putting your money where your mouth is, I guess, is, is the best, best way to put it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you can call the other Sean to play percussion. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. That's, it's always my favorite joke. Like, bring back the other Sean. Yeah, like, what, would he do? <laughs> what would he do? He didn't even sing on the record. <laughs> yeah. yeah, people go and watch the our previous interview with Sean C so you can understand the joke. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yes. All right. All right. So uh, maybe you heard about this. Uh, They released a, a, a vinyl edition of Crown of Phantoms like yeah. a few months ago. So how did you feel about that? Uh, I bought it. Um, I mean, I, I, mean I, I actually didn't even think to hit up Mark, but I did buy my own vinyl. And I think it's amazing. I got, it's like the green, yeah. see-through, like slime vinyl. Oh, man. I've, I've, of course, I bought it and I listened to it. You know, I mean, 
to be able to be on that record again is still like the fact I even got to open my mouth and do screams on a Chimera record kind of fucking blows my mind. And even to this day, it's just, it was such an honor to be given that opportunity, you know, that I, I took so callously and, you know, uh, took for granted. And I look back and I'm like, God, dude, I was so lucky to even open my mouth. Yeah. And that like, and I screamed really it. amazing, man. It's really underrated, in my opinion. Yeah, it's just because it's not Chimera, so yeah. a lot of people don't, don't won't give it a chance, but as far as like just a metal record it's fucking amazing and it has some really good players and yeah. um like jeremy and i were utilized in ways that you wouldn't even think like you know all the things that i helped out in the studio with with mark or jeremy did with vocals and you know we would um i was even helping write lyrics on the record you know so it's it's funny um it's just like it was like a super super cool moment for me probably one of the coolest yet that i've had you know i mean other than being in a band with joey but um uh, but it's when i actually got to like you know sit with mark and like write and i used to you know i used to be obsessed with chimera as a kid man so yeah me too dream come true yeah dream come true but yeah it's a great record i mean seriously i fucking love that record i think this uh, reissue on vinyl has a, a bonus track right at the end at the, the human uh, nation It's the name of uh, the maybe yeah I don't, I don't remember what the, the track is uh I, but I, that's just how they always do it you know they always leave one off and they give it to japan or something but yeah uh, yeah that, that i think that was the that was the song i really liked mm -hmm. i mean they were all amazing i think i got to scream on every uh song except yeah. one yeah. um and yeah. i played keys and samples on just about every fucking one so it's yeah. uh it's Of course so, I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> I will bought it. I will buy it soon, really soon. So do you know anything about uh, the state of uh, Chimera's band? Because they were supposed to play on December 2020, right? And of course they of course they didn't because of COVID. But do you know any, anything if they will play uh, by the end of this year? Apparently they're supposed to. That's a rumor, but I don't know that for sure. I've just heard that through the grapevine that they may uh go and play another like christmas show or something so yeah, yeah. um and i i think i think it will be austin again on drums is, is yeah uh, of course is the take i wish it would be andal i hope you know I, i love that dude man it's it's sad to see him go down that road i mean i reach out to him all the time and i'm just like are you okay you know like, if you need anything i even said that i was like can i do anything for you and he's like no that's sweet but mm -hmm. i mean i mean it you know can i fucking do anything for you andal you know i mean he's he's always been such a sweetheart and that dude's just You know, uh, he still has it in him. He just, I don't think he believes that he can do it. But, you know, that's just like every musician, you know, we get in our heads sometimes. And, you yeah. know, sometimes you can't perform the normal function that you normally did because you get in your head. Yeah, I agree. Well, is there anything that you would like to, to add before we wrap this one up? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I just appreciate uh, it all, man. Uh, just you kind of hanging in there and checking out all my stuff and you know the vented thing will be amazing when it comes out uh, i can't wait to see the reaction to that uh, so obviously follow the page if you aren't uh, there will be content soon um and before the content you can be one of the first people to follow it so mm -hmm. <laughs> uh doth will be out i'm looking forward to that um obviously i have my other projects you know velocitor we did another ep this year um which fucking dude i mean that was one of my favorite ones we've done i mean just the stuff i can do in that band just i can yeah. do whatever the fuck i want and it's it's really broad right it's getting it's getting weird and i like it like it's getting to the point where now it's like we're turning into like tool <laughs> 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 like there's a, there's a song on the new album on the new ep it's the last track uh genesis and i mean it's like eight minutes fucking long and it goes just all over the spectrum i mean you even hear me you know, do a little smoking uh, beforehand, but yeah, Velocitor and um, I plan to do some end of day stuff. Uh, I was supposed to actually go to Australia, but COVID hit. So I guess that was one thing that really, really held me back. Um, I got the sex ed EP. We actually paid uh, Johnny Kelly to play drums on, we did an I love you to death cover. So it was pretty, pretty fucking cool. So we're going to release that uh, once we can, kind of logistically figure out when and where is the best time to do that um yeah. and then um uh, and then i think that's it yeah i got and i think this last year I, I've, i've done 100 and 
130 songs in the last year. So That's something like that. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. We have less than a minute and I need to close the That's cool. okay. Zoom yep. window yep. before I know the 40 it. minutes. I know all about it. Yep. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time, Sean. Please don't leave. You have to tell me the name of the record. <laughs> I promise I will. All right. I Thank you so much. Will. Take care, man. All right. Take Bye -bye. care, buddy. Yeah, see you. If you like this interview, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video with all your friends. Also, very important, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell.